Ciao guys and welcome back. There is a little update regarding the differences between the Lumix S1 and S5 and in the specific I'm talking about the double stabilization because since the last video I've uploaded where I talk about the Lumix S5 I've been using more often the 24105F4 and I actually didn't know there was a firmware update that was going to improve drastically the stabilization of the lens and this improvement in the stabilization of the lens increased the gap between the Lumix S1 and S5 even more talking about the performances of the IBIS because now the Lumix S1 is able to compensate up to 7.5 stops of vibration if used at 105 mm and that's a big gap because the S5 is able to compensate up to 6.5 stops instead of 7.5 of the Lumix S1 because that extra stop of stabilization you're gonna get from the Lumix S1 can make a huge difference in your camera bag because uh, ideally you don't need to bring with you a tripod in your trips and that's a huge plus of the Lumix S1 over the S5. So if you like to film a run and gun like I do when I film documentaries, in my opinion the Lumix S1 has a huge advantage over the S5 that you should consider before you buy your next camera. But anyway, it's not that the Lumix S5 is bad, it's just that the Lumix S1 is much better if you like to work handheld like I do. For example, all this vlog is being filmed with the Lumix S5 and the 24105F4 with the double stabilization turned on and in my opinion the camera is performing extremely well and honestly I'm not gonna do a comparison video between the Lumix S1 and the S5 for vlogging because the S1 is extremely heavy and doesn't have the flippy screen so it is uh, pretty pointless to make a comparison video about uh, the vlogging setup between those two cameras because the Lumix S5 is a perfect camera for vlogging if you trust the autofocus performances of the camera because uh, yeah it's working good but sometimes sometimes it happens that the autofocus betrayed me anyway if you're wondering why i decided to make this vlog in the worst moment of the day during noon where the light is extremely harsh is because i can show you directly how the new LUTs that i just released are performing during a pretty contrasty situation and these new LUTs are gonna be available for a short period of time so you may want to check them out in the link i will put in the description these LUTs are gonna be available both for the all lumix cameras that are able to record in full vlog 10 bit but also sony and canon cameras that are able to record in 10 bit but if you are not interested in buying LUTs you can always download for free the free version LUTs from uh, Log to Rec 709 that I made available for you. A little spoiler, at the moment I'm working on a video review of my anamorphic scope, the Isco Ultra Star. So if you have any question about my anamorphic setup with the Lumix S cameras or about the scope or the taking lens or whatever you want to think about, let me know in the comment below so I can cover all the topics that are interesting for you and everybody is gonna be happy about that video. And you're not gonna comment in the next video because I'm already covering all the topics so just support the channel with a like thanks guys if you're wondering that you can completely leave home the gimbal for walking shots or running shots with the combination of the double stabilization of the lumix s1 and s5 that's not the case because okay the double stabilization is working pretty well but not on a professional level that I will deliver the content to the clients even if you apply some post stabilization you're always gonna see some uh, weird compensation going on so unless you are filming a commercial where you're just gonna use a couple of seconds of the clip to put in your final product uh, in that way yes you can probably leave home the gimbal but in my opinion it's better to always bring the gimbal with you so you're gonna have more keepers that you can use for your final project and this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one ciao